Hey, today I wanted to answer an interesting question somebody sent to me about a buckled knee. So basically her knee is, our knees can buckle in different ways. So our knees can kind of like buckle like inward. We can get sort of stuck where we're buckled, you know, sort of like in this kind of, a, we're stuck in this kind of uh, way. Or in her case, it's actually pushed in. Well, it can, it can actually push out as well, but it's pushed in uh, from the side. So it's like, you know, as if like something knocked her in the side. And that's a, a clue to what it means. And she also has pain. And it's on the uh, it's on the right side. So right off the bat, I know when she sent this to me, we're talking about there's a male in her life. Um, there's something about her feeling some sense of instability around this male. And why is that? Well, the knees... What do the knees do for us? So our knees allow us to, you know, easily move forward, right? It helps us, you know, if our legs were just straight, it'd be quite hard to we'd walk forward a little more like a penguin. Um, it'd be, you know, the knees allow us to kind of move forward with ease, to run with ease, to push off and jump forward. Um, all of those kinds of things are sort of the mechanism and the reason we have knees. And so when we take a look at that, Immediately, I have to think to myself, is there a male in her life that is um, making her feel like it's hard for her to move forward? Or sometimes you'll see people with like a locked knee and that's really about them feeling like they have to kind of lock, like lock themselves against whatever's happening in their life. They're kind of attempting to provide themselves more stability. So, um, but in her case, it's very interesting because it looks as if well, the way her knee is, it looks as if somebody has actually knocked her knee in. Okay. So the immediate image that I get on that is that she was kind of sideswiped by this male. Um, so if you remember as a kid, if you like me had any boys in your class that thought it was funny to come up and like knee you from the back, they'd take a knee and like make, force your knee to buckle. And of course that makes everything fall. Um, it's basically a similar idea here. My sense is immediately her body is trying to tell her that there was a male in her life that was, was basically taking her out at the knees or did kind of take her out at the knees emotionally. And um, kind of, I think it would be sort of one of those things where she literally felt like it just came like a a force against her. So I don't know, I'm gonna reach out to this woman and I will post a follow-up video with that information, but um, that is immediately what I think is going on with this. Now, if you happen to have a knee that's buckled in any other position, um, I want you to take a look at a few things. So if your knee is buckled inward, then it's gonna be very much about um, who kind of snuck up and kind of tried to take you out of, like need you. Like um, it's usually that kind of like mean bullying kneeing kind of thing. Depending on the side of the body, if you're looking at the right side, um, it's likely a male in your life. If you're looking at the left side, it's likely a female in your life. Um, <clears throat> again, that can often be uh, there can be females that present much more with masculine energy and males that present much more with uh, female energy. So if it's not making a ton of sense, <clears throat> right off the bat, take a look if you know, you have somebody like that that's in your life that perhaps that's who it is. Also, with regard to uh, if you're a male and you're kind of like not being able to figure out who that might be, then it's it, it may be something about your difficulty in moving forward, taking actions that you need to, stepping forward. Uh, if you're female and you can't really figure out what female it might be and it's on your left side, it may be something about um, you being willing to s sort of trust in the way that you step forward or that's kind of idea of receiving, pulling in that more feminine energy. So um, <clears throat> that is, so if you're buckled like forward, basically your knees like stuck a little bit forward. If your knee is shoved kind of backwards, if it's buckled like backwards, then what's likely happened is essentially something that happened, something in the future, in the future, how do I say that? Something in front of you caused you to literally be shocked backwards. Um, there's oftentimes when I see something like this, it's oftentimes that something really traumatic and shocking happened right in front of you or um, like literally you were about to step forward, that kind of a thing. And something kind of like, it's almost like a, 
a shock blast kind of blasted you back and what happened is that it literally shoved you backwards and now um, it's very difficult for you to trust moving forward bending your knee forward to move forward um, so I don't know if that makes sense and then on the other side so hers is knocked in the knocked this way so on the other side if, she, if it was like knocked outward um, I'd be looking at actually where internally her beliefs or your beliefs if you have a knee that kind of like knocks outwards um, I'd be looking at where <clears throat> internally in your beliefs you don't feel like you have enough support and that support oftentimes is from like a foundational level so it's like nuclear family current family groups um, any kind of groups you might think of as family so it can be co-worker groups it can be things like churches uh, or religious groups uh, but oftentimes it can be like a nuclear family um, so if you have a knee or knees that are kind of like kind of like knocked outward um, it's really oftentimes about your feeling of your ability to internally stand up for yourself and feel like grounded and rooted within a group setting. So I would be looking at where groups in your life weren't being supportive of you and were literally causing you to feel like you're being sort of almost squashed downward, um, pushed outward. And it can actually be something like a betrayal of a group where you got uh, pushed out of a church, pushed out of, uh, fired from a business you started to build or those kinds of things as well. So hopefully this has been really helpful and informative. Hey there, so I thought I'd do a quick update on this because like right after I recorded the video about um, just before <laughs> I got, I was, uh, I got a, a message back from the woman who had asked about her knee in the first place. And she was able to confirm that actually, yes, um, she had a couple of males in her life that, that had made her feel like she was sort of sideswiped or knocked, you know, her foundation was kind of knocked. Um, and then she was able to tell me that she also has ice cold sort of like dry ice. It's like a dry ice kind of pain uh, in her knee, which is really interesting. So when we look at something like that, what has happened is that it's almost like um, she was like cold shocked, sort of like a frostbite, if you've ever had a frostbite. Um, so the coldness for me is that she was so shocked by whatever the situation was, or by the way this person sort of side swiped her that she almost, she kind of, it's kind of an emotional numb response. So it's kind of like when you get frostbite and then you can't feel, you know, your nerves go numb. Um, it's that same kind of thing here. So whatever the situation was, was emotionally shocking enough that she kind of went numb. And uh, so that's the cold aspect of it. Um, or sort of, also it can be kind of that, that she felt I don't think that's probably right, but it could be that um, she felt that there was like an ice, like ice cold, like uh, his veins were ice kind of thing. Uh, and then the other, the other aspects with the um, burning, for me, as soon as I as saw that, I think what's going on is that is sort of a simmering anger that still remains over whatever the situation was. So um, anyways, I just wanted to kind of add a quick update to this that that is the additional information and um and i'll be uh, if i have another update i guess i'll add another one there uh hope this is had has been very helpful for you if you are dealing with your own pain and disease that you'd like to have translated um, to understand the message behind that pain and disease and get yourself on the path to healing, make sure that you check out my body language course. Um, I literally take you through every possible combination of different things, different body parts, the way things show up, the color of things. It'll Every aspect of it is really the language of the body. And I take you through every part of it. You will have your own answer for your own personal message from your body about what's off in your mind, body, and life. And then there is a fully bespoke process for creating a healing action plan that works in the way that is most effective for you. It basically targets what's going on and then uses your natural strengths to be able to change it. If you are 
dealing with that, you're interested in that kind of an awesome result, um, please make sure that you check that out. It's taramayerrobson.com front slash body uh, hyphen language and I'll put the link in the video below. If you enjoy these videos and you like having this kind of helpful information, then please make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next time.